Hello Earthlings, Orson Valor here. Poptugi was nice enough to allow me to upload this tutorial to his channel, and my channel's more comedy. And this is a Moho Anime Studio tutorial, so it's going to be right up your alley. It's showing off a add-in that I've programmed for Moho, which allows you to create automated dolly shots, both on the X and the Y axis. You can download the program for free from a Poptugi's a Patreon account, which is quite awesome. I recommend people checking it out. So what I'll do in this is I'll show you three examples. First one, pretty simple, just so you get the con concept. Second one, a little more complex, just to start showing how it can save you time. And the third one, a little more cool than that. So in the first example, we've just got this Poptugi character, and he just walks across the screen. No big whoop. So if we want to keep our composition as we go using built-in Moho stuff, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to click here on frame 1 to set my camera and then on 120 swoop it over. It doesn't keep the composition exact. I could futz with it a bit, but it's pretty close. So for something simple like that, not too tough. I'm just going to delete those keyframes and show you with the dolly add-in where you just start, uh, choose your start frame, choose your end frame, your frame interval. So for something simple like this, 10 is plenty. If you have a lot of movement back and forth or up and down, I'd recommend something a little smaller, but for this, 10 is no big whoop. I'm going to click OK. And now as I scrub across, we got the same effect. It's a little more exact. That composition stays in place. But this, uh, this example, as simple as it is, can kind of show you the, the difference between the two. Now, if we look at something a little more complicated, in this case, he walks across, pauses, starts walking, jumps, and lands. Yay! Good for him. So to do the same kind of panning shot in this one, gets gets more complicated. So if I, I'm just clicking on frame 1 for the camera there, and then scrubbing over to 121 there, and panning, Now you'll notice because there's differences in his movement, he falls out of frame at one point and the composition gets all broken. And so you, you can certainly do this with the built-in tools. I'm just deleting the, the frames I made there. But you're going to have to start doing a little bit of work. So for example, he's walking until here. So at this point, and that and then when he starts walking again save that spot and then add some more keyframes there and it's close uh, I'm not gonna futz with it too much but it's definitely a little more effort However, using the uh, the dolly add-in, it isn't any more effort. I can do the same thing again. I start frame one, end frame one twenty. We'll stick with the frame interval of ten for now. And just with the click of one button, it automatically does your your complete pan, including the little pause in the middle there. The reason it's doing this is because it's following the Poptugi layer, which in this case is a bone layer, but it can actually follow whatever layer you want. So even if I, I'm going to erase these uh, camera frames here, uh, keyframes rather, and let's say in the middle, we'll just abandon realism for a minute, and let's put Poptugi up here. this 
okay. So now, because that layer is actually moving up, using the dolly tool, you can actually set it. So by default, what it's done is it's actually following that character up. Now if you don't want it to do that, you can always delete some keyframes. But it gives you the option of always following them wherever they go. Just to keep your composition intact. Now if we, because this is just following a layer, let's check out a different kind of example where it's actually following a path. This is based on a tutorial Puptoogie made about making a tornado. And so in this one, we've got uh, the tornado is just a shape with a lot of points. We've just got a standard uh, character here. This is at the Bigsby, or the rabbit actually comes with Moho out of the box. And we've created a little path. So it's a circular path that grows and flips a bit as it goes up and the Bigsby character is following the circle going around and going up as it goes. So in this case we're not going to follow Bigsby, we're going to follow the path. We'll go through the same st uh, and let's zoom in a bit to create kind of a cool effect here. Or hopefully a cool effect. Yeah, that's fine. Just so we can see our little frame. And so now I'm going to go to the dolly tool. Um, same frame length. Excellent. How convenient. Obviously this is changeable if you want. But no need in this particular case. Click OK. And so now the camera is automatically capturing the path as it goes. But because in this case Bigsby is following the path we're following that character around. And so we get a, a very easy dynamic animation. And because you still have all your keyframes available, it can always be tweaked. So hopefully with this tool, uh, you'll be able to put together some of some cool stuff and save yourself some effort. I'll quickly show you how to install it. In Moho, under Edit, Preferences, You'll see here your custom content folder. This is where it stores uh, you know, brushes that you make and scripts and st stuff like that. I'm on Windows, but it's the same concept for a Mac. So this is the file that I would have downloaded from Poptoogie's Patreon account. And these are the two files in it. The .lua file is just the actual add-in program and the .png file is just the little icon. And so you want to put it in wherever your custom content folder is forward slash scripts forward slash tool. So you just drop it in there and then afterwards you got two options. You can either just reboot the program or there's a shortcut in Moho Alt Control Shift L. Reloads all the scripts and it'll show up here. It's this little lens with two little wheels on it. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'd love to see things that you create with it. It's always nice to see other people's work. And if you have a chance please check out uh, Orson Galore's YouTube channel. You can do a quick search on uh, YouTube Orson Galore. We're going to be putting a lot of content there over the next few months and so hopefully you enjoy it. All right, I'll talk to you soon.